Hi guys, this is Isaac, and today we're going to be unboxing the Black Lotus Bloom. So the Black Lotus Bloom is an upgraded version of the original Lotus Blooms, which were our original starter kendama. We've upgraded the box, uh, we've upgraded the shape, and we left the design the same, just with the color black. So before we get into this brand new bloom shape, which I'm going to dive in and do a playthrough of later. Oh, what? Uh, let's first talk about the box. Uh, I designed this myself. It's a really cool design that I'm really happy with. So we obviously talk about the kendama itself and what's included, like the kendamanomics booklet. We mentioned about Lotus Kendamas, which is kind of a new mission statement that we have, which is to create the most home kendamas. It's along the lines of uh, our goal this year of really refining the technical aspects of the kendama to make the most playable type of kendama. I mean, it started with the element last year uh, and, and how that's gained popularity among the top players in the world. I think our goal for this year, which is illustrated in the back of the box, is just to make and like focus intently on making a kendama that plays the best. Okay, let's uh, unbox this bad boy. So I really want to get into the shape, but we are going to check out the add-ons. Uh, Lotus sticker, this is the standard sticker that we have. Extra string pack uh, with a bead and a stringing tool. And then there's a Kendamanomics booklet, uh, which is the app that I run. It's completely separate from Lotus, but this uh, trick list includes 60 tricks. For example, it starts with big cup, no spike, and then it ends with a jumping stick typhoon. So with 60 tricks between Big Cup and J Stick Typhoon, there is a, a slow progression from beginner to intermediate to advanced play. Okay, let's get into the Kendama here. Um, really, really stoked about this new shape. It's been a long time developing this. I think I kind of started on it after the element, which was about a year ago. The main purpose of making the bloom shape was to take what was so technical and advanced about the element and kind of make it better for beginners. I wanted to make it kind of like an element kendama that was just really focused on being a perfect beginner intermediate setup. So I have an element ken here, it's a little bit seshed, but we can kind of compare the differences. The first thing is that the bloom shape is a little bit Taller, I think only by a millimeter or two. Um, let's compare big cups. So it's the same size big cup, but the bloom shape has a bit of a, a sharper stall point. And this small cup is increased a little bit to add more lunar balance to the kendama. Uh, also an important change is that the bloom shape is gonna be wider than the element shape. So that's gonna add like a pretty different feeling of play. It's gonna increase weight to the Serato, which makes it even better for Lunars. Um, I noticed too that with this extension of the Serato, it's a little bit better for slings. What I did was I increased the, uh, the sword length by a little bit, but I kept the Serato the same size. With a beginner in mind, I wanted to make the spike like perfect right out of the box and uh, a Kanama that you didn't necessarily had to like hone in to get the Serato where you want it. So the spike is gonna be a bit longer. It's not gonna take away from the handle length. So your hand will be able to fit there just like it would with the, um, the element. It's just that the spike kind of got a little bit taller. So we increased the width of the ring to add a little bit more feel, uh, which I think a lot of people will like because the ring on the element was really minimal. Um, it's not nothing crazy like the, you know, Sweets mod or some other mods with like a really heavy sharp ring, which I personally do not like. I feel like it gets in the way of Ken flips, but it is a little bit more than the element shape. The length between the ring and the handle stall, I think it's the same. There's not really a difference in the swoop, but the probably the biggest difference between these two shapes are the handle stall itself. So with the element, the handle stall, 
uh, just slightly swoops in. I'm really excited about this new handle stall, which is a lot sharper than the Element handle stall. I, I really like this idea of having a minimal ring and a sharp handle. Something about it just feels really good. And if you notice when you do a Ken flip, your thumb is really hitting down here on this handle. So it takes a little bit of getting used to from the Element, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do Ken flips like a lot quicker. You'll be able to like push your thumb down a lot quicker, which is really cool and, and uh, it feels really good when you play. Also with this increased handle ridge, handle stalls are gonna be a lot better. And also with the ring, the ring stalls are gonna be a lot better. So it's gonna be more beginner focused, letting their first handle, the little, their first ring, uh, this is gonna help them a lot versus you know, profession, an advanced player on the element who have handle and ring down enough that they don't need any extra help. Wow, look at that. It's sticking like a ton. Base cups are exactly the same. They are the same size. The handle stall, not only is it sharper on the bloom, but it's a little bit bigger. I think it's a millimeter bigger. Yeah, and the stalls as well, the big cup and the small cup stall are I think like a half a millimeter bigger to hone in the uh, the stalls. So although it's you know not an insane difference from the element to the bloom shape, it does play a lot different. You'll notice that right out of the box. Um, you'll notice like the length of it, it being taller. You'll notice the the stall points, it being a, not chunkier, but just a little bit bigger in your hand. And then of course, you're gonna notice the handle stall when you start doing flips. Your thumb is gonna really catch onto that handle, um, which I think within like 15, 20 minutes, you'll be able to get really used to it and be able to flip, uh, flip the Ken a lot quicker and a lot easier than uh, any other shape. So with the Tama, this is the same bloom design. We dropped, uh, I think it was like 50, a low quantity of black blooms in the past on the sacred shape. And something about black is just really cool. It's really good for tracking. It just looks really clean. So yeah, it's the same colorway, same design. Uh, it's just on the new anti-skid sticky clear, which is a really good sticky clear. I think most uh, players have tried it by now, but this uh, it's kind of like a famous track and stripe now with the black and white gradient. It looks really cool. And also with black and white, it's uh, really good for tracking. You can easily see the black when the Tama is flipping and then you can see the white and the gradient stripe come around. So it's a really just standard good tracking Tama. The string that it comes with, it's a little bit shorter than our usual ones with again, beginner in mind. Uh, we don't wanna give them like a super long Isaac string to start off with. Uh, so I think this is like seven or eight fingers, which yeah, it's probably pretty long for most people, but I think that's like the perfect length for anybody trying to get into it who wants to progress into juggles quickly. Uh, seven to eight fingers is perfect for that. All right, well, that's the unboxing. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the playthrough. I'll be talking about how the shape feels and what tricks it feels really good at. Um, so I'll see you outside. Okay, I'm outside uh, here with the Black Bloom. Super excited to uh, try this out and give my first impression. I've played um, the Bloom shape before a while ago, but I've just been waiting to play with it until this unboxing. So again, it comes with the trick list, a string pack and the sticker. <sighs> but here it is. So a little bit about the bloom shape. Uh, I'll go into more detail about how we created this shape. Uh, I think this is a really, really special, uh, really superior shape that we made. Um, we basically took the element and then added a few improvements that kind of makes it like a more popular shape. Um, and I can explain what I mean. So when we created the element uh, last year, we had been going through a ton of different designs for shapes, like all over the board, uh, just trying out all these different things. And then finally, we tried out the element shape or what became the element shape and we got it shipped to us for EKC and the team was there, the Lotus team. And it just felt like golden. Like it was pretty unique because there was not a big ring stall. It was smaller than the sacred shape, our original shape. It was so much different than the sacred shape. Um, there was, yeah, a little ring stall and a really shallow handle stall. So that felt really unique, but the flips and the taps and the balance, just like doing a triple J stick just felt like it just flipped around so perfectly. Um, and so then we stopped there. We were like, okay, this is it. This is the element shape. Uh, super stoked, we released it. And 
just as we figured, it got uh, really popular. Uh, a lot of good players really like it. Um, a lot of the Lotus team and a lot of other players will be competing with it at KWC this year, which is feels really good. I mean, it, the, the hard work paid off, right? But what I did with the Bloom Shape was, um, instead of stopping at this unique kind of like prototype, I wanted to try to continue with the development uh, just like eight months later. So, um, you know, we got to this brand new shape, way different than our original shape. And it did, it was very unique, again, with the ring in the handle um, and the size. Uh, but then I was like, okay, well, let's go back to more uh, of an OG, um, a standard kendama. So let's uh, make the ring a little bit sharper. Let's make the handle a lot sharper. So it feels like a traditional shape. Um, and then we beefed up the stalls because we had room. So the KWC box, like the official box for regulation, it actually grew. And so instead of the Strato having to be 75 millimeters, it increased. So because of that, we could make our stalls bigger. Um, Cause our cups were, were as big as you can get them without the spike being too short. Cause once you're, if you're in a 75 millimeter like box, if you keep making the cups and the stalls bigger, eventually the tama will get stuck. Um, so we kind of got stuck. We couldn't increase the stalls or the cups anymore. Um, and we didn't really want to because the element shape felt so good. But because the box grew, I think it was after the element shape or right around the same time, I figured that I can make uh, bigger stalls. I think the cups are about the same as the element, but the stalls are a little bit bigger. And you can really feel that when you play. Um, it really feels like it just, sits on there uh, because it does, because the stalls are huge. Uh, but we also didn't want to go too oversized with cups. With the Sacred, we, I, I kind of felt like looking back, it was a revolutionary shape at the time, but now playing with it, a little bit off balance. The big cup and the small cup are uh, a little bit off balance for my personal play style, but I know like Gabrielle from uh, Czech Republic and Rust and Rio, they love the Sacred shape. And you know, it comes down to opinion at that point. But for me personally, and a few members of the Lotus team like Francia and Marcus and Goya, um, I wanted to uh, make the cups a little bit more equal in size to help with the balance. And that's where the element shape came into play. And that continued with the bloom shape. So enough of me yapping. I'm going to try this shape out. Um, I've been playing the element shape a ton recently. So this feels really different in my hand. And that's a good thing because I can really like feel the differences. Um, man, I really like the height. I, I've always been a big fan of big Kens and that's why I made the Sacred originally, which was really tall and really big. Um, the element we went down in size, but it's nice to go back up in size without, with keeping uh, balanced cups, uh, which is exactly what we did. Yeah, I mean, it just feels like a really lunary dama. It sounds really good. It taps like an element. It's beach, so it's gonna sound a little bit different. It's gonna play a little bit different than a maple. But yeah, I mean, that tap says just as good as ele any element that I've played. Wow. Check stalls, not broken in, this is a freshie. So it feels like a little bit slippery, but I'm sure with a lick. Yeah, it feels like it needs to be a little bit broken in, but I think once it get, breaks in, it will feel really good for stalls. Like it definitely has that, uh, obviously we calculated like the best stall width, like down to the point millimeter uh, for a 23.5 sized bevel. Um, Cause that's the max you can do with KWC. But yeah, excited to break this one in, especially with beach. I mean, no matter what stall size and bevel size you have with beach, the stalls are gonna be great. Man, I love the way the beach feels too. It's so different than maple, um, especially because I've been playing Kandama every day for like eight years. So, and most of that's been maple. And especially recently, like the last year has been exclusively maple. So it feels really good to try a new, sh a new wood. It 
It's a bad toss, but it still caught that lunar really well. Let's try a triple inward lunar flip. Yeah, it just slaps. Lighthouses are good. Struggle. Yeah, I really like this ring stall. Once we get a maple version of this going, which will probably happen in the future, um, I'm really curious to see how that feels. But I really like the sharp ring stall, you know? Like, it's, on paper, it's exactly what I like about a shape. It's just the element feels great, so that's why I've been using it. Um, and when I play Beach Ken, because of the durability factor, especially when I'm doing a lot of like instas and hard like tricks that really take a lot of the kendama, they can wear down quick. But, um, but yeah, like on paper, I just really love a sharp handle stall, which is what this Ken has. Because for doing flips, I just really can feel when I hit my thumb, it like connects with it. It almost takes some getting used to. Like I flip almost too quick. But that's definitely a good thing. <laughs> because then I can like throw quads a lot easier. Let's try to throw a quick quad. Oh my God. That feels really good. Slings. Wow. So yeah, with that improvement of the, or with the extension of the KWC box, because the cup, cups got wider, it's gonna benefit slings, even if it's technically lunar honed. You know, if the serrato is heavier, it's gonna be lunar honed. And the heavier the serrato, usually the worst, the, the worst the slings go. But uh, because these cups are wide and this serrato is heavy, so it slaps lunar, so you can still get some slings off, which is really cool. I have to give my brother on that. Is this thing God? All right, let's just play a little bit, see how it feels doing my normal stuff. And of course, this design I'm so used to because I've played so many blooms in the past. Uh, but the tracking on this design is, I mean, the white just pops when it's against the black, you know? Like for uh, Stunt Fast, the tracking, you know? To see what, where that bevel is is super important for a trip like that. It's nice. I need to get used to this things. There we go. Wow. Feels really good. Try an eight tap. Okay, maybe not. I didn't tweet it myself. One more time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trip J's feel just like the element where they just feel so balanced. It's not like when you flip a Ken and it's unbalanced and you can kind of see the base cup coming too fast or too slow because like this proportion is unbalanced, but because I think this was influenced from the element and we just approved, improved a few things, it still maintains that like godly balance that feels really, really good. Um, because the Ken is be bigger, uh, it's gonna be more weight match than elements, I'd say. Uh, you know, the 62 millimeter anti-skid clear, usually you don't see many 75s. Usually you're looking at 78 to 85 grams, maybe even 90. Um, but I feel like with these Kens, they're gonna be a little bit heavier than uh, element Kens. So you're gonna see more of a weight match if that's what you prefer. For me, I don't care. I just play whatever. Um, but this feels pretty matched, if I had a guess. But I've been playing really heavy Tamas recently, so. Should I do a 4-4? Four, four? I have that sensation of it tapping too fast. 
which again is a good thing. I just am not used to it. And I have to kind of like slow down my taps or else it taps like out of my hand. <laughs> it's just a really fun feeling. It's like the same feeling that I had with the first element. Let's try a late trip. Yeah. Oh, all right. Um, thanks for watching the unboxing. Maybe I'll throw a quick banger in here at the last uh, scene. I don't know what they go for. Let me think about it. But uh, yeah, the next shot will be me hitting this trick. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, definitely go cop a bloom. They're available on Amazon only. Um, $35, but there's a $5 coupon right now. And if you buy it and leave a review and email Lotus at Lotus Kendamas, you get a 40% off discount of anything on the Lotus Kendama shop. So yeah, I mean, it's a big discount. Um, so yeah, I appreciate it guys. Okay, see ya. Let's go.